12 o'clock in the morning. Look who I got going with me. Going on a road trip. Woo! Six 
so he's you know close behind. Y'all can see I got my other tires in the back. This dude's getting it in the old Peterbilt. They're getting it. North bound and down. Hauling. It's passing me in the I'm cruising. This road's all jacked up, just to kind of show y'all some more. This guy's pulling off. But oh, I think we just scrubbed a little on that one. Yeah, this this is a bumpy road right here. I think this the back just scrubbed some. I don't think I've heard that yet on the 38s, but anyway. It's a comfortable ride, but it's, it rides like a truck, that's for sure. Tires sound good, but not unbearable. I don't know where my phone's taking me. We're on some country road now. We're still a ways away. Uh, currently feeling a little stressed about how I could hear my tire scrub a little bit because that was a pretty big dip in the road and I was going like 75. And these things scrub like crazy when I put my 40s on just to see how they would fit. Make sure you check that video out. I drove around on 24 by 14s and 40s with this truck as is on a one inch leveling kit. It scrubbed bad, like just sitting still it would scrub. 38s aren't that much smaller, so I'm hoping that my back fenders uh, are not all jacked up now because that'd be something to show up I'm trying to sell my truck and having damage on it. So, a little concerned, but. Um, we will see. I'll definitely have to show y'all fenders, see if it, uh, if it looks good, if I actually did scrub or not. It felt, it didn't feel like I did, but it sounded like I did. Um, so we'll see. That's kind of part of the stress that comes along with big tires with small lift. Uh, so keep that in mind. You know, I got a set of 35s in the back and some, some uh, running boards, nothing too heavy, but if you're hauling or uh, pulling a you know a trailer and you got 37s 38s whatever on a, on a not that high truck you may scrub in the back you know when you're turning you can scrub i have made a video about how these things uh clear in the front how i'm able to turn just about full lock on 38s but the back clears wasn't really worried about it but we'll see i hit that bump hard enough it might have caused some damage it's a nice road back here though crazy situation the guy buying it is uh is not here he's got a buddy uh that he trusts handling it and inspecting it for him we went on a test drive and uh, he is happy with it i got some money going to pay off my loan and uh once that is good i'm not wearing my seatbelt, but we are going to get some money going into my account and once that all happens i'm going to leave but uh we right now are swapping we're about to swap these 38 mug wraps off of here because the guy does not want them. Uh, it's an older guy getting it, and he wants the 35 trails, doesn't care about the mud wraps, so I'm gonna keep them. And uh, as of right now, no, they are not for sale. But let's get these things off of here and uh, see if we can't get some money and get back on the road. We're working on getting the tires off. I'm gonna take the license plate off. I told you I'd show you if the fenders got messed up. Looks like we're all good, we got lucky. I think I rubbed a little paint off right here, but it's still white. It's just got like a little little tire action on it. But let's get this plate off of here. Looks crazy. Oh, trip over. 
about to trip over something. Man, this tire is so much smaller on there. This tire is so much smaller on there. It's crazy. Well, it's only a one inch leveling kit, so it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Which ones do y'all like better? And which wheels? Do you like the, like, the all chrome wheels or the black insert uh, platinum wheels here? I think they both look really sharp. It was just easier for me to have a second set. All right, show me how it's done. Okay. Yes, sir. No problem. This is Bubba. He watches the YouTube channel, and he just loaded these big freaking 38s in here by himself. Got to get him on the channel for sure. Putting these uh, little 35s back on here. Got this thing looking all paw paw, ready for the new owner. This is probably the nicest tire shop lobby I've ever seen. That's for sure. Got the steps. Back. Got the steps put back on. Just back like I bought it. This is the weirdest intersection. You gotta drive on the left side of the road to get past this statue in this little town. Well, we've been waiting for the banks to figure out everything. Just got a uh, notification that we got the money in the bank. So we're heading back to uh, shake hands, kiss babies. And then we're gonna head back to Mobile and call it good. The truck's paid for, it's not mine anymore. Time to get started on the next one. Well, we had to stop and check out these cool old classics. We got a 70, early 70s model bump side, a couple of Mustangs with the uh, back glass busted out, but a couple of old coupes. Y'all know I got the 68 Mustang. <laughs> I can see kind of where these guys are going. I am not sure why these things are so abandoned looking out in front of this old Mexican restaurant, but check them out. They're pretty cool. Let's see, 7,000. If anybody's interested in this 67, the white one doesn't have a sticker on it. it Looks like they've been sitting out here for a while. And then what do we got here? Another $7,000 69 F100. Not terrible. Really sharp looking patina on this thing. It's a good looking truck. Had to stop by and see what was up with them. We got some spare parts back here. Brand new BFG sitting here. What size is that? 35 on a 15. That looks pretty sharp. And here's a whole front axle for something. Does anybody know what this is? That's crazy looking. Pretty cool old truck though. This thing is like totally unlocked. I just opened the door. Looks like it's an automatic. Pretty uh, interesting. The seat has just been, kind of been recovered, looks like. We got a brake booster, some kind, chilling here. Interesting. If it wasn't for this rust in the door right here, I'd be kind of interested. But that does not look like fun to repair. The uh, actual cab looks pretty decent though. Want to pop the hood on it? I know it doesn't have a release, so I bet we can reach under here. Yep, just like my 68. Oh, this one's a V8. Man. Not too shabby. I wonder if this is a runner. I'm sure it wouldn't take much. Basically road ready now. Here we go. With our spare, the tires. Platties on the other side of the fence. The 6.0 is starting up, making a lot of noise, but she sold. The loan has been paid for, and money is on its way to my account. If anything uh, comes up as an issue, I will let y'all know. 
but she's back here she's getting locked behind the gate this uh tire shop that the guy was uh doing the deal for us has uh taken ownership of it i've got bill of sales uh the title work's all been done we think it's sold so we are saying goodbye to the platy it's been nice knowing you saying goodbye to my king ranch was very tough my 10 inch lifted 40 inch tire running the 2016 engine swapped you know aftermarket turbo king ranch was very special to me and selling it uh, was a little bit tough this platinum has uh, kind of made it a little easier on me now that it's gone I'm ready to get started on the next truck so y'all be sure to stay tuned for my next video where I tell y'all how much I bought and sold traded whatever kind of profit and loss I made on my 11 King Ranch by trading this truck and selling it I will tell y'all every detail of the whole deal this was kind of just a quick sold the truck let y'all know keep you updated video let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments and thank y'all for watching